All right, after last week's debacle, I gotta try something normal. I can't go for those gimmicky foods anymore. I'm gonna go to an appointment, and then uh, as I leave, I'll see what's there. We'll make this an adventure. Whatever's close by, I'll try. I'm heading over to 9th Ave and 48th, and then what's around there, I'll just try it out, I promise. Make it an adventure. Yeah, but it's gonna be a while since I do something like that again. I, I still have nightmares with that chicken claw. Still have not The whole week, the whole week I was sleeping, and I, <laughs> chicken claw! And wake sweating. My wife's like, what, what's wrong with you? I was like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. One of the worst dreams was the one where I was like tied up. I couldn't move. Those are the dreams where you can't move, you can't do anything. I'm opening my mouth trying to yell, and I'm just tied up, and I don't know where you just see a chicken leg come out and go like, shh. Eh, I woke myself up. I had to. Ah, eh, eh. Again, my wife's like, what's going on? I'm like, I got to eat normal food to get rid of this, this nightmare. A lot of movement today. You wouldn't think, but yesterday we got hit with a massive storm. Now it's like it didn't rain. All right, 9th Avenue up ahead. I'll hang a right and then uh, we'll see what's there. So I'm on 44th and 9th, just making my way up north. Don't see a lot of carts. So I finished my appointment, I'm heading back to 42nd Street. I'm like, I didn't see anything. I didn't see any carts or anything. So I just do a Google search about, uh, about an adult beverage. See, you know, a drink, gin and tonic, some beer, whatever it is. And as I'm searching, it says Rudy's Bar. All right, let's try it out. I'm in the area, finally. So let's try it out, Rudy's Bar. If you don't know, they serve uh, adult beverages, but it seems like they have hot dogs there too. So we can try it out. It's free if you buy a beverage. Let's see if it's true. I'm a block away. There it is, right next to the pizza place. So I'm gonna go undercover, but maybe the music's blasting. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Guys, this is the definition of a dive bar. Definition of a dive bar. So I got a Rudy's Blonde, which is three bucks, and the hot dog is free. It is absolutely free. I got seven bucks back, and there's Rudy's Blonde. I mean, it is packed today and it's 4.30. The music's blasting. I asked for uh, just mustard, but I got ketchup too. No one's listening to you. They just give you, I don't even know if this is what I ordered. They just pour and give it to you and you pay. That's it. Those are the prices up there. Let me zoom in. There they are. Seabrew National. This is a dive bar. You guys know what I mean. I remember being in sales 2000, let's say, four to 2010, and just like probably cool calling and walking up and down the streets, and these are the spots you hit. It's a cheap meal. You walk in, you get a $2 beer. Back then it was two bucks, right? $2 Coors Light, sit down, you get a $5 burger, 10 bucks in with tip, whatever, and you walk out. This, this, this took me back 20 years, man. This is unbelievable. It's packed. Can't beat the price. People who work here, you got suits, you got people just visiting, a whole bunch of people. Almost done. I'll rate the hot uh, uh, Almost done. I'll rate the hot dog, I promise. Oh my God, I thought she put ketchup. It's just the uh, hot dog itself. Look at this thing, it's been nuked. Bread soft, mustard's there. I mean, it's free. Can't complain. Here it is. If it's free, it's for me. Nice and salty. That dog's been there for weeks. There's a reason why they call it a dive bar. I just love that the drinks are still cheap. Two bucks, three bucks. Everyone's having a good time. They're blasted, everyone's blasted. I walk in at 4.30, they've been drinking since noon. So you could tell how they work. But the hot dog, 
it's not, they didn't put it on at noon. The hot dog's been there for, uh, for a couple of days, maybe. It is rock solid. Remember when I used to say beef jerky a lot? Beef jerky. It's free, it's good. Go in, get a beer and get free food, man. I just paid three bucks for, for uh, I left it $2, let's say five bucks and this is what I got. I'm eating it, it's good. When you're 10 to 15 beers deep, she can hand you a shoe with mustard on it and you're gonna eat it. You have no idea what you ate. This is great bar food, that's it. Here you go, shut up and walk out. Eight, 8.2, 8 8.2. 8 <laughs> it's free. Buy four beers at two bucks each, three bucks each, get four hot dogs. 8.2, just mustard, very good. You got workers, you got guys in suits, you got people visiting, you got tourists. Yes. You got alcoholics, whatever it is, they're there and they're drinking. And that lady doesn't, she's not IDing anybody. If you're there just waiting to get served, that, that place is not for you. But if you uh, put the money right on the table and hand it out and she sees it, she's going to come straight for you. That's what you have to do in these spots. I can't believe they use my picture. But anyway. I love it. I love it. It just brought me back 20 years. It's a dive bar. You're not going to spend more than $20. You're going to walk away happy. Stomach full. You can't get better than that. You can't. Highly recommended. Rudy's Bar. So when you're in a dive bar for five minutes, I was there for five, ten minutes. There is no sunlight. There's no light whatsoever. So as you walk out, you feel like a vampire. The sun hits you in the face, you don't know what to do. And I just had one drink. Could you imagine that? Either way, go visit, you're gonna love it.